How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to go over the iPad mini gestures. There are some gestures, uh, really cool things you can do just by using your fingers. And I want to show them to you right now. Um, first thing is um, to bring up the multitask bar, you know, where you can see all the apps you currently have running. Normally you would just double tap the home button and it come up like that. But most people don't know you can also use four fingers and just push up like that and the multitask bar will come up and then you can swipe left and right to see all the apps you have so that's one gesture the second gesture is let's say we open up Pinterest right and we're looking through here and we had another app open well guess what all we have to do four fingers again and push over you can actually switch between apps now this is obviously a uh, portrait app so it's harder you have to swipe this way but just that simple. Uh oh, no thanks. Camera app, Kindle, and we could just swipe and you go all the way to the end and then it makes you go back the other way. So, pretty cool. Four fingers just to switch between apps back and forth, okay? And it's nice and quick. And the third gesture is this take your whole hand and you want to curl it into a ball like this. Sorry, here we go. And just that easy, it'll close the app for you. Now, it doesn't actually close. Let me make sure I say this right. It doesn't close it. It just takes you back to the home screen. So that's the important thing to know. So I, if you watch right here, I can actually, you know, do like that. Switch between. And this is how you know you're at the end because it'll do this. Woo! Wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. And close, open. And you can also use that uh, four finger gesture to bring up the multitask bar in any app you're in. So right now we're in Safari and I can just push up and there's my multitask uh, row. And I can see which apps I want to close, which ones are open, da da da. So these are the main three gestures for the iPad mini. Now let me make this point for the people who have other iPads. These are not new gestures. These gestures actually work on the regular iPad as well, but a lot of people just don't know about them. So wanted to make sure you iPad mini people, if this is your first uh, iPad device, that you would know how to do that. All right? Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and keep watching, all right? Have a good one.